mites, it is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another Texture Pack Tour video! And today, mites, as you can see, this is the Egyptian Texture Pack, wait, um, yep, there we go, Egyptian Mythology Texture Pack, there we go. And mites, basically what I got right here is a diamond helmet, a diamond sword, and pumpkin pie, you know, <laughs> my gear and the necessities. Um, also, I have to admit, this actually looks really good on me. I mean, I just tried it out right now, but, um, I have to admit, it looks really good. It looks like an actual helmet, kind of like my helmet right there, but really, really upgraded, sort of. So, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep that on, even though, um, I mean, it does have eye holes, so at least I can see pretty good. Alright, so let's take a look at it. So, much just like you know, this is probably only gonna be one episode, by the way. Just because, um, I mean, it's nothing too exciting. I mean, I have done a couple of mythologies in the past, like Chinese, um, what else was there? There was, um, Chinese, Norse mythology, and, um, something else I know there was. But other than that, practically, um, yeah, nothing too exciting. I mean, yes, 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 if you do care about history, which I do. And, um, let me just lower this a little bit because it is quite high. There we go. Because of the music. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, it's uh, just a trap door. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that was going to be some other kind of cool block of some sort. But, nope, just another sword. And what's really weird, I think this isn't this supposed to be some sort of cavalry sword. Like, cavalry sword where it has a crooked, like, end at it. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. And right now, this place looks absolutely, <laughs> absolutely uh, massive. You could practically get lost in here. And um, one thing I actually am, one goal I have for this um, actual episode, even though it's most likely going to be the first, unless all of you want to see another one, which I honestly doubt. But if you're a history um, informatic person, I guarantee you are going to like all of the other mythology um, texture packs or mashup packs, whatever you want to call them. Um, pretty much. So, yes, just go check it out um, on the Xbox One Edition. That's what I always play when I do all of these texture packs. And, um, well, besides the PS4 one and the Wii U. Yeah, just, just, just try to find it. <laughs> You're not an idiot. Ah, oh, that's a little bunny rabbit. Um, what does that look like? What does it look like? Like, bunny, bunny, where do you go? Oh, <laughs> got a, ooh, a sphinx. Okay. So, basically, one of the goals I have for this, um, this episode, actually, um, let me put the fly on really quick, is to find a pyramid. Now, just like so you know, I'm going on this full blind, and, uh, what's this gonna do? Oh, that's it. Um, <laughs> I expected a little, uh, something a little more, you know, impressive, but, um, there you go. Oh, that looks kind of creepy, a little bit. Just those blank eyes. <laughs> creepy. Wait. Oh, no way. Also, whoa, okay, we got some bread. We got um, more bread, um, more bread, <laughs> four pieces of bread, a compass, and another diamond helmet. All right, so I can just, um, I can just keep swapping these, but, um, who knows, Marks, maybe if I die, um, I can keep that as a spare. And is this a llama? It looks like an, uh, it looks even more like a llama with the hair and everything and whatnot. All right, so that's one of my goals, because this is a whole new thing. This is the newest one, um, oh, there's even some, um, Egyptian art. That's actually really nice touch. Um... I really don't know. This is the first time I've been in this world. I haven't really gotten a reason for this, practically. Um, so, this is basically... Uh, most of them are practically new, but others are not as new. Let me see. So, we got... Whoa! We got oak, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, and dark oak. Um, same over there. And this is just wood, I guess. And this is the villager. Let's see what they look like. Or at least one of the designs. Oh, okay. You got the hair. You got the, the parchment, the clothing, the tassels. You got all the sorts. Alright, so we got birch. Really nice. We got, um, what's that? I think that was, um, spruce. We got oak. Alright, let me see what else. Um, then we also have jungle. Dark oak. And acacia. The wood's a little bit different colors, but the, the majority of it has, like, um, different coloring. Like, you got red. You got, um, like, wood color right there. You got green. You got some stripes. You got all the sorts. So, you know what? Let's go for, let's go for this one. Which one is this really quick? Let me just grab that boat. This is a birch boat. Okay, let's go get the birch boat right there. And let's go on it. <laughs> All right. This kind of reminds me of the, this actually looks um like a battleship. I have to admit, Moist, this looks sort of like a battleship. Just with the front and that one little thing in the back right there. That is quite nice, in my opinion. Let me see. Also, the map looks like an old scroll as well. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like an old, like, mapish scroll, like, when the ones you roll up, and I'm not very good at controlling a boat. Um, actually, I am, I am. I was just, um, I was just getting a little distracted. 
All right. Um, this is map number zero. All right. So there we go. Just a little bit of the boat. Just I'm um, riding around a little bit. All right. Ooh, we got a statue. We got a statue. And uh, I don't know why they decided to make it out of blue. Besides the scepter or staff, whatever you want to call that. This guy. This is mice. Forget me for this. Forgive me for this. But doesn't that look like Marge Simpson? I mean, with the giant like hat or hair, basically. Like she. I know that's her hair, her blue hair, but. I mean, come on, you cannot tell me that doesn't look like her a little bit, besides, um, besides the goatee. But, um, who knows, maybe woman had goatees back then, I have no idea. Alright, ooh, look at this, this looks quite impressive, what is this? Oh, wait, is that a pyramid? Um, I don't know, Mike, I'm not gonna count, I'm not gonna count this as an actual pyramid, just because it's on top of a building, but, um, let's go inside and let's check it out, shall we? Alright, so let's see, um, anything behind this? Nope, this is pure stone. Um, and maybe if we go deeper into it, <gasps> wait, could this be the legendary torch? <laughs> the legendary torch. I, I honestly was just, oh, this is probably a casket. Ugh, I'm not going in there. I'm not going to go in there because um, I'm just going to find a bunch of bones and a skull and I do not feel like being cursed today. No, thank you. Oh, look at the sun. The sun, um, I feel like it should have had more um, rays um, on the bottom and the sides, but um, it's not bad. It's not bad. Just a little... To me, it just looks a little funky, and, um, what is this? Is this a- oh, this is probably some sort of fossil. Or, maybe, uh, something that's being buried? Either way, I have no idea what that's for. Uh, just a random cave. And, oh, okay, okay. So, I do know, actually, there are basically, um, okay, much Fun fact about me. I actually am a little bit of, um... I'm a weird person, but I, weird I don't mean like if I, I'll come over there and like to your house and we'll all for a meeting and, and you'll want to kick me out because I act so crazy. No, not like that. I'm, I like the weird. I like weird. Like basically, I'm a fan of the supernatural, like Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, um, all the sorts, Yeti. By the way, all of those, they are false. If you don't know, trust me, I looked, I checked. No, false. But basically, I, and this is basically, um, one of the, um, so, yeah, I'm a fan of Sep Supernatural, and basically, um, the Egyptians, you know, like, this rumors and whatnot, just like the hatch, just like the hatch on that, um, that big sphinx that we were on, by the way, that's what it's called, where is it? Oh, dear, this place is kind of big, um, <laughs> I kind of got lost already. Um, that, that huge cat thingy with the, with the eyes that I said are a little creepy, that's basically called Sphinx. And, um, this is basically, like, the rumor on the hatch on the top. There's rumors and whatnot, um, basically saying, like, the secret things inside the Sphinx, even though, like, um, there's, it's been proven by geologists and whatnot, that there's nothing inside the Sphinx or, like, the secret passages inside of the, um, the pyramids, but it was used for burials and whatnot, so... Um, <laughs> this is sound like, uh, this is sounding like, um, a history lesson, which, uh, I guess is appropriate since, you know... This is, um, the Egyptian texture pack. So, getting a little bit of history. Uh, see, look, these are, like, the mini statues of lions and sphinxes and whatnot. But, um, oh, wait. Uh, yep, skeleton. Let's just, uh, let's just keep moving on. Actually, you know what? I want to see the model. I want to see the model of it. Oh, whoa, okay. Yep, there we go, Moist. Just pause the video, um, or slow it down. Wait, what the? Oh, okay. I was wondering why it got dark and no rain. It's because, um, I'm guessing it's, we just crossed the, uh, the, the sand biome. That's probably why. I think that's a creeper, right? Yep, that's a creeper. Let's go check that out. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty nice. That's a golden creeper. That is quite nice. And I, I just got shot right in the arm. Ouch. Okay. Uh, good thing it didn't hit my neck because it is quite close to that, as you can see. Um, well, it's more like in the... Yeah, it's basically in my armpit. <laughs> ouch. And really gross, but um, more ouch. All right. So, um, yes, I am basically a fan. As I was saying... Um, there are rumors, and that's actually quite a little easter egg if they actually did that on purpose, like a little hatchet. But, instead of anything monumentally found-breaking and groundbreaking and shattering the realm of, of our scientific knowledge, it just had a spare diamond helmet, a compass, and loads of old bread. Actually, you know what? Uh, bleh. And, uh, I'll take the compass, you know what? Most modern-day compasses like this are actually still relevant. Is that a zombie? That's a zombie. Yep, oh, okay, that's creepy, that's a creepy face, nope, go away, go away, go away, thank you for the experience, sir, really appreciate it, alright, hello, hello, oh, we got an enchantment table, oh, wait, no, that's a furnace, we got our brewing stand, which I have to say, the brewing stand looks pretty nice, and the enchantment table, which is, that's pretty cool, I bet the bottles in, um, the, and the potion bottles, uh, probably all look like vases, probably just keeping up, um, alright, what is this, um, crafting table, 
Yep, that's the crafting table. So there we go. Get a little bit of a look. There we are. Here's the armor too. Ooh, I like the diamond chest plate. The diamond chest plate looks like fancy robes. And the gold armor, that looks like pure Egyptian wear. Alright, everything except for chainmail, pretty much. Um, the oh, this looks like, um, the, the gold helmet. That looks like a crown for the Emperor or Empress. There we go, we got the diamond helmet, which is like a sphinx face. And the, um, these are basically, um, pure helmets, I'm pretty sure. Alright, and here we are, Mike. Back to square one, right next to the old boats. And there we are. Alright, um, excuse me, man. Uh, I mean, ma'am. Um, you might want to get inside. It is raining. Or maybe you, like, maybe this is how they bathed back in the day, because, um... Uh, we all know they had no showers whatsoever. And, wait, Enderman. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's actually really small. This Enderman's actually quite small. And um, is it me or is this zombie? Oh, this is one of the desert zombies. They are really tall. They are really tall. And that's the Enderman. That's really cool. I can't look at him that good. Oh, okay. Well, it's, uh, that really hurt. Uh, at least I'm back. But basically, it's like a mummy. The Enderman's like a really cool looking mummy. I have to admit, that is really nice looking. And is that a painting? Or, ooh, that's a block. Can I break it? Nope, I cannot. Right, come on, let me get in. Uh, let's see, uh, anything inside these homes? Probably not, probably just, uh, yep, there's a the bed. Wait, 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 I wanna look at the bed, I wanna look at the, wait, uh, you know, just go to sleep, then I'll look at it in the morning. <sighs> ah, there we go, mates, fresh in the morning and hopefully the rain will stop soon. That's like, uh, that's like an actual, like, bed with, um, with the top on top of it, like, attached to it, like, strings and everything. That's actually pretty nice. Alright, and yeah, there we go, Moy. See, that's a Sphinx. That's a Sphinx right there. Alright, oh, I'm oh, sorry about that, Llama. Didn't mean to... Uh, ooh, let's see the spider. I bet some sort of old Egyptian... Oh, that is really creepy. <laughs> wow, alright. Nope, get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. And what the heck is this? Ah, oh, gross. Two hands. Both his hands dropped. That's, uh, that's really disturbing. Alright, and um, there's a stick. An old-fashioned stick. <laughs> Moy, wait, wait, you know what? That's how... Moy, look. Kids, for all you don't know, this is exactly how the old-fashioned stick looked back then in the ancient Egypt. Doesn't it just look paler? <laughs> oh dear, alright, um, nothing in here? Nope, probably just some sort of tool shed or whatnot. Alright, let's keep flying around and looking. We still haven't found a pyramid, and whoop! <laughs> just gonna, I just, uh, I just wanted to go through it. It's just like, I bet this is made of gold or... Yep, I knew it. Oh, Prismarine, okay. All right, and what's this? Orange wool? Brown wool, all right. It has- it's- it is kind of like an orange brownish. All right, we got a few more statues, which is, um... Let's see, um, we got more statues over there, too. Actually, I want to go in this building. This, this white and blue building. It speaks to me. Um, all right, this is probably a bunch of, like, um, sand, green wool, and blue wool. Um, probably, at least, um, the colors. All these texture packs, just because the colors look the same, doesn't mean it actually is. Let's see, yep, this is blue, and that is lime. Yep, I was right, apparently. So, I guess the colors are pretty much unnatural, since it is historical-based. Um, back then, people were as stupid might tell- Ooh, wait, is that a pyramid? No, that's a pyramid! Okay, I wanna go ch check out this little one real quick. Alright, oh, wait. All right, we got, um, old pots and vases, I s assume. Yep, there we go, flower pot. Is there anything in here? What the heck is this stuff? Uh, I'm guessing that's a lapis block or something blue. Alright, um, doesn't seem to really be anything else in here, at least nothing really exciting or important. Uh, we got a few more, um, few more artifacts and whatnot. We got, um, some more statues of some weird bearded guy. <laughs> and, um, what? Wait, is this to the side? I think this is a person to the side. Let me see. Oh, right, this is, um, the ones where they drew, like, um, hawks and burnt masks and whatnot. And there's that, um, that thing reminds me of a movie. Was it Indiana Jones, right? I, I might be, honestly, I think it might be Anna Jones, but, um, it's been so long since I've seen that movie. There we go, we got more bird-faced people with, um, the things on the top of their heads, and, whoa, alright, we got some sort of temple. Wait, is that glass or water? Oh, no, that's actual glass, right? Yep, it is. Well, it's actually, quick tip, that's actually a really, really fantastic trick in Minecraft. You basically just, um, build everything you build upside down and put glass underneath it. I mean, above it, above the floor, in the middle. That is actually a really, really fantastic trick. And who knows, maybe someday I will actually build something like that. I haven't really had any plans yet. But um, who knows, maybe one day I might. But anyway, that's a pretty long drop. And we are not going to go down there. Because if I do, I might get stuck. And I'll probably get confused. Alright, um, nothing really else. Just a bunch of um, just a bunch of hallways and whatnot. Probably, yep, pretty much empty. Yep, looks like it. Looks like it that way, alright. 
Let's get out of here real quick. There we go. Maneuver myself out. Fly away. Got some more... Um, I don't know what this is. Probably not a statue, but, um... What is this? A panda? Is it a bird? Um, I really have no idea. <laughs> oh, I probably insulted... Something. Okay. What? Oh, God. Is this gonna be some sort of giant massive snake or dragon? Um, okay, I can't see the head, and honestly, I don't want to, because I'm afraid it's going to be really scary. Alright, oh, we got, uh, we got the old-fashioned boat, too. Kind of reminds me of the Norse mythology, like the boat architecture, in a sense. I don't actually know how how close together um, Norse mythology and Egyptian history is. Um, might have to actually look into that at one point. Right, we got lots of farmlands, as you can see. This is actually, Egypt was actually really famous for one fact, the crops. They were probably one of the most civilized people to farm that many crops. Trust me. Trust me, guys. Trust me. Write a report, write your book report on crops. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Um, don't quote me on that, don't quote me on that. I'm just, I'm just assuming at this point. And, whoa, okay, I thought that was like the end of the head, but no, it just, I, whatever this thing is, its body is huge, alright? Take a break real quick. I'm just gonna keep looking around. Let's see anything inside of here. Nope, pretty much empty, although it's a really, really big structure. All right? Oh, wait, wait. I thought I saw an interesting block. I saw one. Uh, did I? Yes, there we go, Mike. See, look at this. Look at that. That's a probably sandstone, but look, it has all the hyperglyph um hypho hyperglyphics. Um, is it hyper or hypho? I forgot. I, I, uh, unless I'm not pronouncing it right and I'm just having the wrong mindset. Anyway, I'm gonna call it hyper, hyperglyphics, hyperglyphics. I'm just gonna say it like that. I might be pronouncing it wrong. I'm very sorry about that. And, oh god, look at that. I wanna see the squid. I wanna see the squid. That is cool. It's got the, it's really, really nice, actually. I can see this in, like, red mi real Minecraft, like, with the red, the tentacles and everything. It's even got the, the actual one eye to the side. A little different from Minecraft, since, um, they are more derpy looking. Um, no offense, Ibalistic Squid. No offense to your family, but, um, still, I have to admit, that was actually pretty cool. I like the squid. All right, we, got, we do got a few villages around the area. How tall is this? Uh, let me just, um, break out really quickly. And... Ah, there we go. All right, let's see. Wow, this place is tall. They must have had to, they must have been very fit. They must have been very fit. And here's a chest. All right, what do we got? Probably music disc. Yep, we got music known as, wait, and it's actually an old-fashioned harp. That's actually really not bad. Oh, and once again, we do have some more hieroglyphics on the doors right there. All right, let's keep looking around and let's see what this giant dragon, I'm guessing it's a snake. I doubt it's a dragon. Giant snake like body leads us to I suppose and okay so what Mojang or 4 j or the, Mo well, the Minecraft team basically I'll, I'll just say the Minecraft team what they did it seems that they practically built most of this in a water like a whole flat water area or they practically no uh, you know what I doubt I was gonna say they filled the whole area with water but no you know what I doubt that I doubt that they really outdone themselves this time right wait can I see the face down there nope it's still the body wow Okay, I have to admit, I'm a little more interested in this whole place than I expected. Alright, whoa! Okay, we got the mini, well, it's a big pyramid still, but it's like miniaturized compared to this! Look at this! Woo! Look how high I am! I am the top of the world! Wait, let me just uh, take a picture real quick. Ah, there we go, alright. Ah, there we are. Oh wait, one more, actually, you know what? One more, one more with my, um, with my, um, my mask, my, um, my Sphinx Max. There we go. One with the sword. One with pumpkin pie in my hand. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty nice. All right, so let's see. Well, it looks like we got some more ruins. And um, I'm guessing this is rails, right? Yep. It looks like old. It looks more like a ladder. Nice. Look, if I was like this, slowly going up and look up like that, it would probably um, be like ruins. Oh, we got some cobwebs really, really um, in detail for some reason. But let's go. Let's see if we can go inside of this pyramid. Is this... Possible? Yep, I think it is. Right? Whoa! Okay, Mike, this is really far down, so we're just gonna fly down real quick. Oh, okay, there we go. We got a chest, we got some, uh, some apples, which seem to be gold apples, and we got a stone sword. No, thank you, I will- oh, we got a black bed. No, thank you, I got my pumpkin pie and my diamond sword. Whoa, whoa, what is that? What is that? It's a trap! No way, Mike, that's crazy. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Whew! Oh, Mox, wait, we're supposed to grab the treasure, I think, and get back. What is it? A ghast here? 
Oh no! Oh boy, that's bad. That's really bad. Ugh. Don't want the hand. We got the treasure, which I'm assuming is like that's actually one of the most famous hieroglyphics ever, but I can't remember what it means. Oh, is that TNT? Whoa! Okay, yep, that was TNT. I want to try it again. Oh, really? Is that it? These are paintings, aren't they? Yep, that's just. Oh, that was one painting. All right. I'm assuming we have to go down and fight. So you know what, whites? Let's fight a couple of zombies. Why not? Oh dear, you know what? I gotta change my mind. Oh dear. No. No. Oh dear. Okay. Oh no. 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 Who? Who? What's this do? Oh dear. Oh god. Ah. Ah. Get back. Get back. Oh dear, boys. They are not listening. They are not listening to reason. Ah. Get away. Get away from me. Ah. Ah. Ow. Ah oh, damn. Okay, okay. Eat a little bit. Eat a little bit. Getting kind of hungry. Oh dear. Whoa! <laughs> Some of them have backpacks too. These must have been old explorers. That would make a lot more sense. It's the backpacks and the robes and the bandana. They must have been trying to get the treasure and die down here. Wow. And um, why is this sound on the ground? Was it torches of some sort? Um, don't know why, but I guess. Oh yeah, there was to Oh, it's probably just one giant, like one torch itself. All right, there we go. Got sand right there as well. What did these do? Nothing? Um, okay, Mike, I suppose not. All right, let's see. So, anything else around here? Nope. Wait, I found a pressure plate. Oh, is this carpet? Yep, that's just carpet, all right. All right, let's see. So, um, yeah, Mike, there we go. I got the treasure. What do you know? All right, so it looks like that was pretty much inside the pyramid. Also, that is true. There are a bunch of underground caverns apparently documented. And not really much, mostly, like, um, mostly under pyramid, rather than actually inside, which, you know, would make more sense in a se in a sort. But, there we go, Mars. That seems to be practically everything else. There are a couple more structures and ruins and whatnot. And there is the moon. I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of, um, this little eye, actually. I mean, if you squint one eye and you squint the other... There we go. Practically twins. <laughs> but, alright. So, the end of the video, I just want to go on top of the pyramid real quick. He's even got, like, um, the, the orange goldish, um, tip right there, too. Pretty nice. Good good detail. Good job, Minecraft. Well, anyways, mites, that's the end of the video, so hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please get a like and subscribe. And yes, mites, I will see you all later. Later, guys!